Howdy, folks. Thanks for taking a look at today's blog. What we're going to be looking at today is moving files around, um, how to and how not to do it, uh, and specifically talking about uh, a design manager tool that's been with Solid Edge forever. It used to be called Revision Manager, uh, but now it's called Design Manager. All right, so uh, it does revisions still, just as the name intended, uh, used, to be, used to be with the name. Uh, we open with Design Manager. So there's a couple ways you can get to your assemblies. I like typically just opening uh, the either top level draft, which this one actually does have a draft associated with it. Uh, your, your top level draft is going to have all the assemblies and parts uh, and, of course, sub-assemblies and sub-drafts uh, that are detailed with the parts. You can also get to Design Manager through the Solid Edge application. So if you just go to Solid Edge SD10 and Design Manager right here. <clears throat> All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and open it through the screen uh, here. But let's take a look at what we're working with. This is just a valve uh, with some parts in it, um, just one top level assembly. There's some sub assemblies below it. Uh, and there are some drafts associated with some of these parts. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure I grab those. All right, so uh, we, do, we do have a tool called Pack and Go. Uh, and it's very simple. It's been around forever. Uh, it's just a matter of going through Share, Pack and Go. All right, it's going to just ask you um, the files. It's going to go ahead and grab them all, copy to the same to a single folder, uh, and grab the drawings. So it's going to go out and look for any drawings. The deal is, you don't get to do anything with the drawings if you if you don't want any drawings to go with it. Well, it it's going to go, and you guys have to go after the fact and delete those if you don't want to associate any drafts with these. All right, uh, then you just go ahead and just tell it where you want to copy to. Uh, let me just drop that on the desktop call this valve, and just say go. And that's it. So it's copying the links, looking for the copied files. There you go. Copy 26 documents. So if we now open this up on my desktop and look at the folder here, so we have, uh, of course, the um, drafts that are that come along with it the dft files uh so there is one draft and should be a couple other ones there's another one so there's a draft that's associated with it all right what we can also do is do the same thing through uh design manager so i'm just going to open up the same draft open with design manager take a second to go grab the parts and links all right so if we want to go ahead and say copy these uh, there is a, just to let you know, there is a design manager assistant, kind of like a little wizard that you could walk through to do the things I'm about to show you, like revising and copying and replacing. Uh, I, I just kind of like using the basic tools that I've kind of learned uh, just by right clicking in any of these fields you, if you get certain things to do. Save as, move, copy, rename. So kind of the same situation, same thing you get through here. You just get by right clicking. So. I typically just do that. All right, a uh, little thing to note here. We have the two files. Of course, we have the top level draft, top level assembly. Uh, under, inside, un, excuse me, under the assembly, we have uh, obviously other assemblies, sub assemblies. Within those sub assemblies, we have parts. So instead of you having to expand these out to make sure you get them all, well, of course, we do have a tool that's uh, Control Shift uh, G, I believe, expand all. So just hit the expand all button. Uh, and the files are going to expand. All right, another couple tools you're going to use a lot are just select all, which goes through and go ahead and get, gets everything. So if you want to set everything to copy uh, or or set everything to revise at the same time, you can do that. You don't have to go each line item by line item, set action to revise, rename, replace. You can kind of do it all through uh, select all, set action to revise. So let's go ahead and uh, Let's do that. You notice we have some revision number here. Here's a field for revision number. Some have numbers. Some are alphabetical. Uh, uh, that is uh, something you can obviously go in. So, you know, if I, if I know I'm going to make that Rev 2, I can just make that Rev 2 just by clicking in there. If I want to make it Rev 5, I can skip all the way to Rev 5 if I wanted to. So there's not really anything preventing me from doing that. Uh, we do have an option for the software if you're just going to rely on this to do it. So. Right now we have revision uh, delimiters hyphen a. You know, if you wanted that to be an underscore or or just whatever space you want, and to change that to a one, well, now it's going to make that uh, numerical. 
Uh, you can leave it at uh, A. And of course, I'm going to exclude the characters. Uh, you can go in the list and tell it what numbers and letters to, to obviously zero and O are very similar. So you typically don't want to use those. All right, we'll say OK. All right, so let's say we want to rev something. Let's rev the Allen screws for some reason. All right, so we're going to go set action to revise. So it's going to take that B to a C. All right, so it does that. Of course, this is in here multiple times, so that's why it did all of them and showed them all revised. Simple as that. Uh, you know, obviously, you can do that through Solid Edge. Um, so, for example, I want to maybe add a revision through that uh, handle. Well, that's through the properties. So, basically, all we're doing is accessing the properties, info, file properties, status, to get to the released obsolete baseline. All right, this one, um, if, I, if I release it here, it's not a big deal. I can just say release. And, of course, uh, if I save it and close it, so the next time I open it up, you'll notice it has a little bitty, uh, I guess it didn't, oh, there it was. I didn't see it. There it was, little icon right here. So read-only. Basically, it's telling me that is the read-only status indicator. So that file is released. So uh, I can't make, oh, it says at the top two read-only. So if I do want to make a change to it and uh, say save, you know, it's, save is grayed out. Can't save it anymore because it's released. So it's, it's good to go. So that's a, a really good way to protect your files. You know, if you release something for production and uh, it's been released, shop made it, sent it to the customer, obviously good options to, rele to release these. So if, if another replacement part needs to be made, they get the same part. They're not getting uh, something that's been ripped. All right, so simple way to do that. Just go into the part and change it again. We have that full control right through here to make these types of revision changes and release. So let's say, hey, it's, you know, that this uh, valve body. Let's go ahead and uh, let's see, there it is, body one. That's the actual valve body of the. Well, let's go ahead and release that. So currently it's available. So if you hit the little drop down here, you see uh, available in work, release, obsolete, baseline. So let's go ahead and release that one. Uh, you know, if you want to uh, maintain the folder structure, just leave it in the same place that it is. You can, but if you want to say, sometimes you're in work release and obsolete folders are separate folders, so you can map that through here. And again, this is not using the Solid Edge data management. Uh, this is just using uh, Design Manager outside of that space. We do have a video of showing this, how it works with uh, the built-in data management that Solid Edge now provides. Uh, but, you know, this is kind of more specific for people who don't want to use data management, but want to control moving things around without breaking links. So we're just going to go and keep that in the same location. Now I'm going to have to do perform actions before I can do anything else because it, it needs to release that, say perform actions. Yes. Yeah. All right, expand back all. Of course, now my body and the file that I, I took these two files, released them. Uh, of course, these are still web, 5 and C. So that is just basically some file management, uh, replacing files. Um, and I want to copy these to another location. I know I have a, uh, this handle, which is this SEV08. I want to take that. I know I have a red one that's driven by an Excel table. That gives me some parameters to type in through the Excel. So we have a further outside link. So we have the draft files which we're gonna look for. And of course, we wanna go ahead and get the Excel file too. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a set action to replace. And it's gonna to browse to a location. Uh, I don't wanna look at my desktop. I wanna go look in the Solid Edge folder where I'm working from and look for SEVA08 red. There we go. And open that. There it is. So now the new file name is uh, that red part, go ahead and perform actions. And now we have SEV08, and it also has an Excel file that is linked to it. All right, so maybe I want to make a copy of this assembly now. So those are the kind of things that you have to look for, uh, having the files outside. So I'm going to copy everything. All right, so how do we do that? So I'm going to come over and say expand all. So it's already expanded. Select all files. So everything's highlighted. Then I just so go start copying through. I'm going to go ahead and right click and say, I want to do a save as, all right? So I was going to save as, new location. Where that new, new 
excuse me, where's that new location going to be? So I right click again, anywhere in here, doesn't matter where you're picking. I'm going to say edit that path. And I'm going to go and put this on my desktop. So I'm going to shift this to somebody, create a new folder. Call it valve. Okay. So now if I expand the new location out, you'll notice it's uh, desktop valve. Uh, here's the file names. Maybe you want to rename some of these as you're doing it. You can actually do that. So you can pick in this field. Uh, so this body that's being copied, maybe you want to just call this now uh, valve body. And um, say uh, maybe the one you copied in there is going to be clear red. So just, you know, give it a new name. All right. So once that's done, it, everything is select, everything is highlighted and you're ready to go perform actions. All right, let me go ahead and expand this all out. So now you notice the current file path is looking at desktop valve. Well, that is the one I copied. So let's go take a look at that folder. Oops. Go to my desktop, go to a new folder called valve. And of course, it's in here. And of course, here's the handle uh, Excel that's driving the length and some parameters on that handle. All right, so that is using Design Manager. Uh, you know, at this point, uh, you could have zipped it up because we do again have pack and go available in here. So if you wanted to just go ahead and say just select all, pack and go, and do the same steps you did through here. And let's go ahead and prop that into my desktop. Hit OK and save. Good deal. So copied all those files. Uh, there's the assembly for my desktop, and it uh, this one actually has the Excel file that's linked to the SC8 uh, or to the SEVA8 8 handle. So again, a very useful tool. Uh, so please, uh, you know, it's always been bad practice to use Windows. It's very easy to do because you know, of course, anytime you can right click and copy and you know, or cut, cut and paste to another location. That's fine if everything you're working on is in one folder. So my valve has every draft, every assembly, every part, every sheet metal, every Excel file that's linked to things that stays in this folder and cannot move out of this folder, then you can move it just by Windows. Copy paste that folder to wherever you want. Uh, but again, if you do have some you know, fasteners in one location uh, from a fastener folder, then you have your valve bodies from another folder you know, it, it's going to break things and trying to relink things after that is kind of tedious. Uh, there are certain things that cannot be relinked. So using the design manager, preferred way to go. Uh, you know, if something does break, uh, more than likely we can figure out how to fix it through design manager. Uh, if you're copying and pasting and breaking links that way, uh, th those aren't always guaranteed to come back. So uh, that again, this is how to, you know, revise parts to move parts, rename parts, uh, replace parts. Uh, very simple tool, one stop. And again, if you want to publish these to send to somebody as a zip file, you can start do that right through here as well. So um, again, hopefully this answers uh, some of the questions we've had recently. If you have any more questions, feel, please feel free to contact us at Swoosh Technologies uh, and uh, check out some of our videos on our YouTube page. And I appreciate it. All righty, thank you folks.